So, Ida told to me that the open stage repertory is prepared to perform for you this evening. Of course, the open stage repertory company, the Shakespearean performers of these fine halls. Oh, say oh. Ah, oh, fantastic. Of course, they didn't tell me which play they'd be performing tonight, so I have three. I figure we'll have to figure out together which one it is. Uh, is it Hamlet? Is it A Midsummer Night's Dream? Or is it The Merchant of Venice? Well, let's do it by cheer to be democratic about such things. For Hamlet? For A Midsummer Night's Dream? And our final vote for The Merchant of Venice. I think it's plain to see us a merchant of Venice. Fantastic. Now, our performers will be taking on a challenge because, of course, they have memorized this script perfectly. Is that not right? They've tried. <laughs> it's Brittany. Just a moment. Yeah? Did you, in fact, memorize this script? I did! And your performing partner, the lovely... Oh, God. <laughs> did, you, did you memorize your lines? No. I knew I forgot something. You didn't memorize it. This is Shakespeare. You must, you must memorize... I'm so sorry. We're going to have to do what is called, what is called a reading, or a, a dramatic reading. Uh, here, take the script and try not to, try not to look at it. Now, what you'll do is you'll just only speak words from this, and you'll speak your lines, and everything should yes. be fine, right? Of right. The scene, of course. What is the scene? What scene shall we do? Where, where's, where are those two fine performers? Venice? They're in Venice. <laughs> of course. Somebody's awake. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. So now, our two characters are in Venice. Please give them a cheer or not. Portia, by my troth, Nerissa, my little body, is wary of this great world. You should really stop putting all the bodies in troughs. This is not very good. <laughs> you would be sweet, madame, if you're Miseries were in the same abundance as your good fortunes are. My good fortune, fortunes definitely outweigh most of my miseries. I can say that for you very much. Good sentences. Well pronounced. How many sentences? They would be better if well followed. <laughs> that would be true. You should probably speak more clearly so I understand what you're saying. If you do were as easy as to know what we're good to do. Say that again? <laughs> if you do were as easy as to know what we're good to do. I, in that one either, I don't know, what? <laughs> I pray thee, overname them as thou namest them. I will describe them, and according to my description level, at my affection. What? <laughs> How? What? First, there is a Napoleon prince. That's the wrong time period. <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> now, now, good sirs. Clearly we've got this all wrong. Clearly something has gone terribly wrong in the state of Denmark, which is why at this time we shall switch to Hamlet. <laughs> Give them a cheer and we'll try again. How now, my lord? Will the king hear this piece of work? Speakest thou English? Alas, sleep, sweet lady. What imports this song? What song? Are you hearing things? <laughs> to the ambassadors of England gives this warlike volley. What now? <laughs> Youth, in its natural ardor, often rebels against itself. Well, it does that sometimes. <laughs> Opportunity treats me kindly in granting me this second goodbye. <laughs> when was the first goodbye? <laughs> to bring the question to this test of warfare. Uh, who's at war? 
Why proceed not against these feats? Why is it? It shall to the barbers with your beard. Prithee, say on. It is a nice beard. Which may you perhaps seem much unsued. Un what? Sued. <laughs> That's good because I don't have a lawyer. Spoken eagerly for now, at last Guildenstern thinks Hamlet is about to tell what ails him. <laughs> is Guildenstern the doctor? But the next speech is as baffling to the cross questioners as ever. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> all right, all right. Clearly, this is going all wrong. There's only one thing to try. You're both, you're both fairies, so this one should be a lot safer. Midsummer. We'll, we'll go with Midsummer. Let's give him one more hand. Actually, I know a bank where the wild time blows. I know a bank where I can deposit lots of money. <laughs> where oxlist and the nod nodding violet grows? Exactly. <laughs> Quite over canopied with luscious woodbine. Not in my woodbine. <laughs> How canst thou thus for shame, Titiana? She shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Glance at my credit with the hippopotamia. Do hippopotamuses live in this forest? <laughs> knowing I knowing I know thy love to Theseus. Girl, he's no good for you. <laughs> From Virginia, whom he ravished? That's what I was telling you before! With Adarain and Atopia. Yes. <laughs> These are forgeries of jealousy. You should go to the police about that one. <laughs> and never since the middle spring spring. Yes. <laughs> the middle spring shouldn't have sprang, it sprung. <laughs> and here, my mistress, would that he were gone. We'd have a big old party. Woo! <laughs> I'll meet thee by moonlight, proud titanium. I would like many things made out of titanium. <laughs> what jealous Obreon, fairy skip hence, I have forsworn his bed and his company. What did you do on his bed? <laughs> then I must be thy lady, but I know when thou hast stolen away from fairyland and in the shape of corn sat all day. You can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> This is such a good play. <laughs> We're really good at this. Forever the Society of Men. <laughs> Says you, honey. Know your youth, examine your well blood. <laughs> so will I grow, so live, so die, my lord. Amen. <laughs> Take time to pause by the next new moon. The sealing day betwixt my love and me. But we can't see a new moon. It's all black. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> For everlasting bond of friendship. I love you too. Unto his lord, whose unwished yoke, my soul consents 
not to give sovereignty. You gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> I must confess that I have heard so much and with Demetrius thought to have spoken therein. What? <laughs> but being overall of self affairs, my mind did lose it. You should probably go find it. <laughs> with duty and desire, we are follow you. <laughs> duty. Be like for want of rain, which I could well be tame them from the tempest of your eye. That makes me cry. I for me ought that I could ever read. You should probably memorize your lines. <laughs> I'm seen! <laughs>